If not us, then who? Mr. President, Super Typhoon Haiyan, perhaps unknown to many here, made landfall in my own family's hometown. And the devastation is staggering. I struggle to find words even for the images that we see on the news coverage. And I struggle to find words to describe how I feel about the losses. Up to this hour, I agonize, waiting for word to the fate of my very own relatives. The climate crisis is madness. Mr. President, we can stop this madness. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? It was agonizing for us. My brother, A.G., I knew was in Tacloban City when the storm was about to hit. So I've been to different disasters before, with different calamities, but it's nothing close to what happened in Tacloban during Typhoon Haiyan. The images kept on coming back. The images kept on hounding me. And I would find myself crying early morning. I would wake up with the lights off and I would think that I was transported back to the to ground zero, to the place where it all happened. Yung unang alon talagang malakas na laglag, pero nung pangalawang alon talagang malakas na. Malaking pasalamat ko, pero nang malaman ko wala nang pamilya ko, talagang biglang parang Kasi sila lang magkakasama dyan, ano sila dyan is on anim. Ore ko iba nga kimnuan, nga tinukod nga balay sa katiman, bagyo. Ore ko was out. Sige, pamiling namun, kipangita namun, ang tunong nga nani-recover. Plus, wa recover kipangita namun ang mga kuhaninin, mga lawas nga na-recover sa mga But still, nothing. And these are the first two bodies that I saw right outside the hotel. These are the images that would haunt you forever. You see people in shock. You see families reunited the first minute. You'd see families walking together towards nowhere because they, they lost their homes. My friend Agit. He was uh, killed by the storm surge, along with his father, his mother, his wife, and his baby. That's three generations wiped out in one, one event. Agit is someone who loved Mother Nature. He loved the Filipino culture, he loved the tribes, but then he lived in the modern world. He existed knowing that it's good to look, look back at our past and look back to other nature. And it's a sad fact that it's a person like him who had to go. Agit's death signifies a lot of things. That there's a lot to be done to make this world a better place. There's a lot we need to do. I think I'd like to borrow the words of our national hero, Jose Rizal, when he wrote during the Philippine Revolution more than 100 years ago. And he wrote, I die without seeing the dawn brighten over my native land. For you who have it to see, welcome it. But forget not those who have fallen during the night. Yeah, because many have fallen during the night. And Agit and his family are among those who have fallen. And it is our responsibility as members of the human family to never forget 
Climate change. It's as real as them. It's as real as the pain. It's as real as the suffering. Sok palugod at ma kwan. Diri to nawara kung ano nawa na kay. Diri to na kung nawara nga mas maluya. Umati ko mas makusog pa ada. The issue of forest and climate change is a very important issue. Forests play a very important role in the overall ecology of the planet. It has a very important ecosystem function. But more important than that, a lot of people, communities, depend on the forest for livelihoods. We must empower forest communities to be part of taking care of this natural heritage and also ensure that their needs are met. Yo, yo quiero dejarles un mensaje, ¿verdad? Y a toco techo porque hoy la gente no sabe cómo arreglar ni cómo parar este problema que estamos viviendo. Ojalá al mundo entero de que nos metamos en nuestras cabezas que la plata es simplemente un complemento para sobrevivir, pero que, que el mundo hay que cuidarlo, hay que respetar y hay que poner, como dicen, los pies sobre las tierras y empezar a reducir lo que nosotros mismos hemos este, incrementado. When we try to transform the world, it must start with every individual. If we want to make a difference in this world, each one of us must be the difference because averting the climate crisis is really saving people and addressing the inequities that people confront. If not us, then who? If not now, then when?